Y'all remember the guy I spoke about yesterday, Neon? Well, he issued an apology to Dana White and the UFC, and I believe also Trump for his actions, saying he was going to talk his shit to Donald Trump. So I'm going to walk up, um, you know, I'm going to talk my shit to Trump, and then um, it's going to be a very good experience. And I'm going to talk my shit. I don't care if the Secret Service is there. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to talk shit. So Now, here's his apology. And, um, you know... I actually, that night when I, when I said all that shit and like the problem with me is like I put the camera on and I black out and I don't realize and like I'm, I actually started to realize it like it, it hit me in the head, Chad. It hit me in the head that I'm like really like doing too much, like too, too much. Like, is he having a moment of realization? You know, I said in the last video, like one of these days, he's going to do one of these things that could possibly make him wake up to the bullshit. It might be today. It, today might be the day. It's not even worth it. Like I like talk too crazy and i don't even realize it and it's like i don't even try to get the clip it's not even that i don't even try to go for the clip it's just i just say whatever the fuck i want and i feel like i'm behind the screen when in reality i'm in person like someone could literally just come like and just shoot me in the head but i don't like understand it and it's fucked but i'm not even look at the chat i don't care if y'all what the fuck y'all are saying but i want to sincerely apologize um i didn't mean anything i said and um it should have never come out of my mouth in the first place and i i take ownership that was the first time i it was like 3 a.m i literally went down at red rock and i um he called me down and i face to face apologized to him like a man and it was really good and he accepted it and um yeah that was the first time i've ever had to apologize to someone in person and it it made me realize that you know i'm not this big fucking tough guy i'm a loser and i gotta realize it you know well i don't know about you being i don't know about neon being a loser per se but i think neon is going through something he should have went through a long time ago like I like to talk, as you can clearly tell. I mean, I have a YouTube channel where I post videos expecting people to watch me talk. So obviously, I like to talk and I like to have others hear me talk. But when I was younger, I went through that stage of saying shit I wasn't supposed to say. When I was in fucking fourth grade or fifth grade, I, I said that some girl in my class's birthday party was trash. I didn't actually think that. Like, I didn't actually think her party was trash. In fact, I was like an hour late to the party. And I brought a gift, by the way. I, I did bring a gift. Ironically enough, I had the biggest crush on this girl, by the way. I had the biggest crush on her. And I said her party was trash because shit. back then, shit would just fly out of my mouth. And after that experience, her mom hated me. but They both hated me after that. After that experience, I learned to temper my words a little bit. Everything doesn't have to fly out because people are listening. You might say some shit and someone might take it and say, yo, did you know Rashad said so-and-so? You know Neon said so-and-so? And when you're a popular streamer, everyone is taking everything you say and throwing it out there. Neon said this. Neon said that. Sending it to places you might think it would never go. So now Neon is getting that wake-up call of like, bro, you're not living in this encapsulated space with just you and your viewers. And no, there's, an, there's a world around you that will respond to the things that you say and do. Being able to even like give a formal apology to Dana White, like him being even, even entertaining an apology like that in and of itself is luck. That is pure luck. So, you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that Neon is a loser. But I would say that Neon needs has some growing up to do, bro. You're too old, bro. You are too old. At 19, you haven't learned how to temper your 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 tongue yet. You haven't learned how to stop saying anything that comes to mind. At 19, I'd already figured that out. But this is a nigga that spent his whole childhood gaming behind a screen. This is a dude who was, you know, streaming, gaming, faking his death, all type of shit. I don't think he's even socially calibrated enough for the job that he currently does right now. And it might take experiences like this for him to wake up and realize, oh shit, maybe I can't just act a fool anytime I want and just do whatever I want and say whatever I want. Neon saying he's going to talk his shit to Donald Trump and the consequences that came from that. I think that right there is the lesson he needed. In order for him to chill the fuck out. And I saw a lot of people saying, I don't think Neon is really sorry for what he said. He's just sorry for getting caught. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. I think Neon and niggas like him that have spent so much time behind a screen, they genuinely don't know how to properly socialize and interact yet. He's at 19 acting like he's 12. 
He's at 19 acting like he's 12. And maybe, you know what? Maybe that's a sign that he's never going to change. Because if you're 19 acting like you're 12, bro, you're getting to that age where habits are hard to break. You hit 19, 20, 21, you start hitting that age where can't nobody tell you nothing. I don't know for sure if he's genuinely going to live behind and stand behind his apology. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I don't know. But I think that it's somewhat on some level genuine. Um, and he didn't have to accept my apology or whatever. He could have just said, fuck me to my face and whatever, but he accepted it. And, uh, thank you for that, bro. Uh, if you ever see this clip, I really appreciate it, bro. W Dana in the chat, bro. I literally went on stream outside of a gun range and said, I'm going to talk shit to Donald Trump and said, I don't care about the secret service. Like how stupid am I, bro? Yeah, I didn't realize he, I didn't, I didn't know about that context. I didn't know that he was outside of a gun range and said that. Now, me personally, I wouldn't have added that context in this. I wouldn't have added that. I would have. I would have left that. I would have left that to the ether. I wouldn't have said none. But Neon needed this to happen, bro. He needed that to happen. And this is a reminder for Neon. You see how you sat there and said that crazy shit about Trump, and you were banned from the arena, but the people with you were able to go in. The people around you, whether it's Sneeko, Sam, all of them. They're benefiting from the dumb shit that you do and get yourself involved in. All of the fuckery that you do and get yourself caught up in, it benefits them. They get to they get to benefit from the likes, from the followers. They get to benefit from the overlap from your audience. And they get to reap the rewards of their careers. Go to the UFC event. Get some views from working with you. They get to benefit while you're taking all the losses. Just chill. Just chill. Just relax. You don't have to act crazy. You don't have to threaten to talk your shit to Donald Trump. Just relax. You ain't got to do all of that. You don't have to. But I, you know, honestly, the reason why I think Neon probably won't change isn't because he's not truly sorry, but it's because what the fuck else is Neon going to do? He's not talented, bro. What is he going to do? He can't entertain like Kai Sinat. He's not athletic. He, he's got nothing going for him in terms of alternative forms of content. Sneeko can go back to debating with Destiny about LGBTQ and blue-haired liberals. Zerka can go back to acting a fool with women and debating Destiny and all of that. Where is, where is Neon going to go? What is Neon going to do? What is his alternative means of making content? There is none. Which is why I'm concerned about content creators like Neon and Jack Doherty. Who have no alternative means of making content besides disrespecting and disturbing the peace. Real talk. What else are what what else are they going to do? I, I'm genuinely curious. What else are these two going to do? So that's my concern. That's what I think. I don't know what these two are gonna do. I don't know what their alternative means of content is gonna be, because that's important as a content creator to have multiple genres of content that you create. Me in the future, I would like to do a little bit a little bit of IRL content. Whether it's streams or pre-recorded content. Me personally, I would like to do, you know, possibly even some like streams with friends. You know, sitting in the room with me watching videos. Whatever the case might be, I would like to do that kind of content. But having a baseline of content to make is so important. And Neon doesn't have that right now. He doesn't have it. So that might be the reason why he goes back to doing the dumb shit that he's been doing. Because he's got no other alternative. I've seen him burn so many bridges so many times with so many people disrespecting people, saying horrible shit about people, and for the first time, he's actually received some sort of consequence. I don't know if he'll change. Hopefully, he does. I'm not a hater. I just hate the shit that he does. I don't wish any, like, genuine harm to the nigga, but he's got he's to gotta shape up, bro, because everybody ain't going to be like Dana White, bro. Everybody's not going to be like Dana White. And he's got to understand that. And it's funny is that Pootie told him, he was like, bro, you got to chill with the way you talk to people because eventually you're going to run into someone who's not playing with you, bro. You got cameras on people disrespecting them. That might egg someone on to do some shit that they would have never done before with that camera on. You say, you say something crazy to someone with no camera, they might let it go. You say something crazy to someone with that camera, that could be a life. That could be your safety. That could be, bro. So at the end of the day, bro, like, Neon apologized. We'll see if Neon genuinely changes, if he becomes a new man, if he does things differently. But Neon apologized. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.